Hello everyone, this is Math Guy. Um, today I'm going to talk about TI Inspire um, that has, uh, has a little story here. About six months ago, <clears throat> um, well, I haven't used this TI Inspire in a couple of years. Uh, after, uh, this, you know, after I was stopped teaching. Um, yeah, so I turned it on about six months ago and it wasn't working. So I turned it uh, back and opened it up, slice it, uh, slide it right there and opened it up. And lo and behold, it um, had a uh, corrosion. The battery has gone bad and it corroded everything. So I have to clean it out with, uh, you know, um, rubbing alcohols and cotton swabs and so on. I mean, I, I cleaned it out pretty good, you know, around the springs and around where the contacted battery. But <clears throat> And then I put new batteries in them. It didn't work. Uh, that was six months ago. And there was constant sound of uh, uh, fax. You know how it sinks. Sign, uh, when you call someone and there's fax machine comes on and you hear that that high pitch noise that's what I was hearing from this calculator about right around this region um, so uh, recently about um, three weeks, weeks ago or so I um, decided to open it up and I did have the special tools to open these little tiny uh, screws here. Uh, these were well. These were Phillips, and down here was uh, hex, tiny little hex screws. Apparently, I did have uh, both of the gadgets, so I opened it up and <clears throat> um, see what was going on. And and there's like uh, five more screws to undo to. Uh, uh, take the circuit and the whole thing out when you flip it out and I, I really hate to do that with this one again because my reset button here I think I'm missing wherever and I found the reset button so I put it away and next time I open it I'll put it back on there but I sure don't want to do that until I'm really ready um, but when I opened it up there was a um, circuit board and Anywhere that metal was running, I went over with cotton swab with uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. Sure enough, um, every uh, circuit board I, I went through, there were green residue, you know, re uh, well, green uh, corrosion that was coming out. So I thoroughly cleaned out all, you know, real carefully. You know, it's very delicate. So I. Clean, uh, cleaned out just by every track of those uh, uh, metal that was running through the the circuit and uh, by the time I put it back on and all by golly it's working yeah, I mean thank goodness uh, I know I got this one for free when I was uh, getting the training done for TI Inspire for uh, teachers and I know it's free, but you know, I earned this, and uh, I didn't want to throw away perfectly good calculator. I was about to. I mean, I was continuously messing with it, and while I was trying to open it up, I kind of damaged a little bit right there. This is the kind of thing I was talking about. I don't want to open it again. But uh, yeah, um, in case you do have a corroded battery, it's not just a battery compartment is it that corrosion carries all the way out to, to the circuit board and uh, just carefully go over those uh, wherever the um, lines running you just have to apply it gently and you could be able to take those uh, green residue out of the circuits and then it works like beauty here um, yeah, I mean, you know, here, um, yeah, this is a, a typical 
thing about uh, uh, TI Inspire is a little mini computer. So uh, I'm happy that uh, I have them. And uh, I mean, this thing even got a Bluetooth, you know, cap capability. And in case my daughter, um, when she's in a higher level of math and school, might use this TI Inspire. Um, you know, she'll have a set at school and she'll have one at home. Um, it is indeed a very uh, uh, helpful device here. Okay, thank goodness this this is a, another one besides TI-84 I had. This was the same week I was doing both of them to get this thing fixed and I was managed to do it and I'm pretty happy and satisfied with it. Okay, bye.